Hello, I'm James O'Neill, and I'll be your guide as we go back through time and uncover exciting surprises and a wealth of history that the Charles Hammond House has to show us during its renovation. Thank you for joining us for another segment of the Charles Hammond House. I'm over here at the Hammond House, and we're definitely working on the porches, and from what I can tell, this may be the first time this house has experienced a renovation of this magnitude since 1830. So we're now um, putting in jacks to hold up that dormer while we rebuild the porches. Um, so I wanted to come over today and see what progress had been done. Um, it's been, we've taken our time studying this project because it's just that important. There's so many elements here that we need to be uh, mindful of as we try to um, um, build this back correctly. Uh, that's gonna stand the test of time. Uh, I'm gonna come over from time to time and take some videos. But uh, I'm excited, um, we have begun. This is the column that we lost to Hurricane Michael. As we're now starting to get into the actual construction part of it, look at the detail there. We have been trying to figure out if the columns actually had that uh, relief in them and now we're starting to see evidence that it actually was. John Posey had done a drawing of the house when he was young and uh, his drawing said that there were reliefs on the uh, columns here and so now we're starting to actually see evidence that he was correct. That's, that, and that's, that's beautiful. I'm just amazed by it and that paint, that is very old paint ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 